PP organiza o Congresso dos Jovens Agricultores porque o PP está à frente daquilo que é a resolução dos problemas das pessoas. O maior sucesso da União Europeia depois da paz é a autonomia alimentar e a política agrícola comum. The EPP Group's Nuno Melo, spearheading the 9th European Congress of Young Farmers, because Europe's food security depends on them. A agricultura só terá futuro se os jovens forem parte da equação. O que o PPE está a fazer é trazer os jovens para o mundo rural, para a agricultura, para que no futuro a política agrícola comum continue a ser um dos maiores sucessos do nosso projeto comum. The latest Young Farmers Congress highlights innovation and how to finance it. We want to show with this Congress innovative young farmers from all over Europe and I think young farmers who are interested in seeing colleagues from all over Europe who are innovative, who invest in innovation, uh, they can meet at this Congress and they ex can exchange uh, their opinions in this Congress. The Congress will award three of the best young farmers to highlight how they can be drivers of change and key to achieving greener agriculture in the European Union through innovation. MEPs also want to show they're getting more EU funding for that innovation. We uh, worked hardly as CPP uh, to support uh, and to increase the budget available for research in agriculture. We started in the last period from 5 billion. Now we are 9 billion euros available for research and development in agriculture. And I consider this essential. And the Congress aims to attract more women to the sector, which includes a wide range of skills. Musíme vidět, že ženy se stále více uplatňují v zemědělství, v malých podnicích, velcích podnicích. Prostě ženy jsou velmi dobrými vedoucími pracovníky, jsou takovými lídry. Ženy jsou praktické a tím, že zemědělství se stává i takové přesnější, čistší, myslím, že je pro ženy více přitažlivé. Most important that that farming pays off, that it's worth the energy, time and investment. Los jóvenes agricultores quieren tener una seguridad de que van a poder desarrollar el mismo empleo que han tenido sus antepasados y lo primero que le tenemos que garantizar es la suficiencia económica. Esa sostenibilidad que siempre se ha pedido de la sostenibilidad medioambiental, por tanto, lo único que debemos es garantizarle a ellos la rentabilidad para que sus desvelos, sus esfuerzos y sus sacrificios se vean recompensados. 